Hello, Giorgio. I'm your pal, Jeffrey. Make no bones about it. I'm excited to see you. I'm already running behind in the roundabout triathlon. Quick, get me to the front of the pack. I sure am glad you're driving me. I don't have the bones for swimming. What? I can't make the same joke twice? Tough crowd. My, my jangly legs are still so many places behind. Time to murder all runners. <laughs> Excuse me, but please do run everyone over. Giorgio, the joy of competing is the real reward. Take me to the finish! Giorgio, you did it! You're the best! Giorgio is number one! USA! USA! Wait, where, where am I going? Oh boy. <laughs> wow, kid! That stunt you pulled at the triathlon is all over the news. I've got one last thing for you before you take him on again. We can't beat him on the road, but I have something better than roads. Head to the plaza. Now, climb up that art thing. Statue? Whatever. Finally, modern art has a use. 
Here's the trick. Boost and jump onto that other building. Ah, that's it, kid. With buildings, who even needs roads anymore? Okay, drop me off in that alley over there. Kid, listen closely. Take no prisoners on this punk. Whatever you have to do, do it. Just focus off the road and use that twist of yours to get the upper hand. You got this, champ. Finish him. Giorgio, can we go somewhere private to chat? I know a place, just follow my directions. This place is super secluded, just cut through the woods up here. paper? You looked super strung out, like you've been taking some serious, um... <sighs> you could cut the silence with a knife. Giorgio, just pull over here. Look, you... You mean a lot to me. But I can't stop worrying that the next time I see you, you'll be in a very flat coffin. I, I just can't take that kind of stress every time you drive. Beat Ronaldo, but beat him safely. Don't stoop to his level. Come home to me alive, okay? Ho, ho, ho. 
Oh, you are back for, I believe you Americans call it, double or nothing? If you're gonna beat this clown, then we're gonna be right there with you. Let's go, kid. Your petit fun club can't help you now. This time, loser has to stop driving. Forever. Let's, Let's go, go, Giorgio! Giorgio. Oh, you're even slower than last time! Easy as a kid. Giorgio, he'll beat you on the roads, remember? We're taking him off-road. Head to the mountain bridge. But that's under construction! Giorgio, be careful! Be fast, Giorgio Manos, but I will always be the best. <laughs> Giorgio, look out! Ah, Ask Giorgio about the incident these days and you get a fistful of blank stares. Destroying a man's car is tantamount to treason. Yes, even if the guy behind the wheel is, and let's be honest here, a huge jerk. Mickey leaving was tough. Beth, however, did the hardest. One thing is for sure. With everything collapsing, Giorgio did the one thing Giorgio does best. Drive. A wise man once said that time heals all wounds, but he never specified how long you needed. That's the trouble with wise men. They're never specific enough to be useful. Hello, George. Oh, you're looking worse than me these days, and I'm a skeleton. <sighs> Giorgio, you need to move on. Yes, maybe six months ago, you killed a man with your driving, and maybe the only person you ever loved left you forever. And yes, you're probably going to freeze to death in these mountains and become Giorgio the Skeleton. <coughs> but you're out of Jeffrey medicine, Giorgio. I can't stand to see my pal Giorgio so down and unable to get more Jeffrey medicine. And, um, think of Beth. I bet your number one lady would love to hang out with your number one skeleton. You two were great together. Yeah! Do it for Beth! Come on! Come on! Come on, come on, come on, come on! Yes! That's the spirit, pal! See? Just like riding a bicycle. We'll have you back on your step one. Get a job. Step two, clean suit. Step three, get back Beth. It'll be great. And after that, we'll find Ronaldo. We'll drink mimosas and reminisce about how you killed. Oh. Too soon. Got it.
did it! The first step is always the hardest. Yeah, we'll work on that whole thing later. For now, go find us some farm work. Do hurry. I'd like my bones back soon. Don't get much call for you city folk over here on Pope Farms, that's for sure. Say, your twirl and my hooving tomfoolery might actually come in handy around these parts. How about you go take in the crops for me? Oh no, I don't go in for modern machinery. You just go out in my fields and do your techno spinnery. I'll radio you if I need anything, okay? Just run over them there crops. Uh huh. Yeah, that's a ticket, and I'll just do it till you fill up all week. Just drop that off at the silos and we're gonna call this a day. Nice, that's some real quality threshes. Good work, you hear? a good day's work right there. I haven't seen a day like that since 1954. Now, you see, back then, kids knew the value of a good day's work. Nowadays, you're more likely to see them lollygagging at the disco techie or lounging around at those godforsaken malls. Well, you know, I, I don't want to talk your old ear off. You clearly got some place to be. Thanks again. Now, uh, what? What'd you say your name was? Giorgio Manos was back. And this time, it was Percy. Well, bless you, my child. I thought I'd be lost out here forever. Oh, I moved congregations. I'm a countryman now. My audience is awaiting me. Head to the church.
Wow, what an unusual candy. How fancy. Hello, Priestio. Ah! <laughs> hey, Giorgio, what's up with the security bone? I, I can't take this. Get it to the graveyard. the skeletons. The power of the Almighty compels you. Oh, right. Like you'd bury all the skeletons. Okay, I'll go. See you soon, Giorgio. See you even sooner, priest. <laughs> yes, yes. I'm just going to take a long constitutional. Many thanks to you, I think. Hey, where'd you learn to drive? 